Welcome back to another episode of the Misfit of Demon's King Academy. What happened last time we tossed the fucking castle? More Anos feats. This guy is ridiculous and I'm sure he's not even using a fraction of his powers. Like, I'm sure he's also super nerfed. Like, this guy is dummy, stupid OP. But that's the whole point. That's the whole point, right? So, Sasha is Misha's sister. Misha is a doll. She's not blood born from their parents, even though they share the same parent. Sasha looks down on Misha saying, I would never consider a doll like you my sister. What happens 15 minutes later? They're fucking holding hands and going back home. It's like, oh, this is all great. I was like, what the fuck? The pacing of this is all over the place, but I'm not too really worried about that. Sasha also is a super tsundere, right? Comes in saying, I got demon eyes. I'm the best. You're just a lowly polygonless, uh, probably the reincarnation of Demon King, even though no one's, you know, saying it. And she, she, she duels us. We fucking roll her. And now she's in love with us in one episode. The, the pacing is kind of crazy, but I don't mind because it's pretty entertaining so far. Now, the I think the most important thing plot-wise is Anos' name. So he names himself as a baby. We know his like the Demon King's actual name is Anos Voligoat. But over time, right, over time, this name hasn't passed down in the wrong way. So now it's called like Abyss something. So these are more convenient things that helps Anos, you know, get uh let's say people to look down on him and think that he's not like a big deal because again you know if his name doesn't match the demon king's name even though he is a demon king then people are like, what are you talking about you're not a demon king and the magical crest thing too right where he fixed it and and then the teacher was like the fuck 1.5 times like no two times some people really not recognizing something like him correcting something as fundamental as this like him being so strong there's nothing going on here uh, I mean, maybe everyone's just playing dumb to hype up this show, but I'm all for it. I guess we're moving on. I hear that things are about to get even more serious and ridiculous, so I'm all for it. Let's watch today's episode. Hello, big sis. You had such a nice sister that looked out for you and reached out to you when you were alone, and she still fucking said, I would never see you as a sister. You're just a pathetic doll. What happened? Like, she was there from the beginning for you, and then... What the fuck happened between the two? He's already awake awakened. Though. Seven elder demonic emperor. So they seem like important figures, huh? This, no, I'm new to this anime. Teach me, Sasha. <laughs> now they do exposition this way. Okay, so who are these emperors? Seven of them. The seven subordinates are the emperors. Would Anos recognize them? Future demon lord. There's the deans. Some Things wrong? Yeah, and your name is also wrong. What? What? What, teacher? What? What about what happened? <laughs> this teacher, man. She's always starting shit on us. Okay, who, who is this? One of the seven emperors. Wow, looks very demon lord like, right? <laughs> Look at that mask. Kind of scary looking. Very casual. Um, who? This kid just fucking sat up and said, It's been a long time, Ivis. To an emperor? But obviously, obviously, this is Anos. Does he know? Would he recognize Anos? Oh. Oh. Conveniently, they lost their memories. Your master is Anos. Yes, that's him. What? The, the, the script just seemingly changed after he resurrected or died. He is the founder. Look at his eyes. He could just prove it, can't he? Yeah? Okay, imagine you're the other student trying to- Imagine you're the teacher. This is totally warranted. Like, one of the students just goes up to a seven emperors and just does this? Like, huh? So, were you able to get your memories back? Or... Alright, just go start the lecture then. Doesn't seem like he's, you know, upset or angry. Yo, Anos is just swinging his fucking massive dick around the school right now. Just, just fucking swinging that shit on the table. The balls on this guy, Jesus. 
They're like gods, and the student just talks. <laughs> ne no one's ever spoken, even the descendant never spoken to a god, and Adam's just fucking showed up and- Hey, what's going on? Hey, it's long time no see, man! So are we cool now? Do you know who he is? Avos! Who is Avos Dirhevia? It's a different name. How did this happen? Somebody is messing with the history. I haven't heard that line since like Slime where Ranga would refer to Rimuru. Who is this someone? There's a conspiracy going on here. Who is this Avos person? Is that a teacher? Huh? Is it Sasha's? Misha? The one that's not Sasha. You should say Misha. The fuck? Did she not like Misha? <laughs> we denied you. <laughs> yeah, Sasha wants to be on his team though. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Man, the captain really just did ship. I mean, Sasha did try. What does that look to Misha, man? Why are they all looking at Misha like that? First, the teacher wouldn't say Misha's name, and now these guys. Looked at Misha and was like, was kind of weird. What's going on with Misha? It's because she's a doll? But is there something more? What kind of item are we going to get from the dungeon? Maybe a birthday gift for Sasha? It's fine. We can go at our own pace. Just teleport? Can he just teleport there? Does he have to run? Oh, maybe you guys can't, but Anos definitely can. <laughs> the teachers can't even go to the lowest level. Oh, it's like a mythical item. Oh, okay. This is going to be ridiculous if he just pulled it off, right? And everyone's going to be like, what? You a student? Just went to the lowest level and got the scepter that we didn't think even existed? Because he's Anos. It's his, of course, it's his castle. Okay. It's a secret, of course. Now you push something and then it opens. What does your demon eye see, Sasha? Huh? Yeah, what secret thing are you gonna push? <laughs> you chilly, you like press something and then the door opens. This dude just fucking ran into the wall. I mean, that's like a secret. What the fuck? <laughs> I actually came out of nowhere. I thought he would press a button or something or some, some kind of demon eye mechanic to open it, but it just runs into the wall. <laughs> this door is huge. Don't worry. We have anti anti magic because it's Anos. Just walk through it. <laughs> just walk through it. Just use your physical strength. Just open it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, very forehead solution, but to them, it's like, what the fuck are you talking? We, we can't push the door like that. Yeah, we can just do that. Sasuga no sama. I love how Misha claps every time. And she doesn't even care about her own birthday. That's why I want, you know, her to get spoiled more than Sasha. Lily Maybe for you, Misha. An icy ring for... I mean, she's not really like an ice princess, but... Come on, something for Misha to... She really doesn't care about her own birthday. She only cares about, you know, supporting Sasha. Misha is such a good sister. She's too good. She's such a good person. And I can't believe Sasha treated Misha like this the entire time until the last episode. The fuck? The phoenix rope. Give her the scepter. Give, give her the scepter. <laughs> yeah, I know Misha doesn't want anything. But I want Misha to get spoiled too, you know? Misha's too good of a person. Oh, her eyes are activating because she gets so excited. It's just a, a fucking robe. Just put it on. It's like a cape. Is All right, whatever. Really? They're gonna... She's just putting a jacket on. What? She's not getting undressed. She's just putting a jacket on. What? No, yeah, I'm mad can't be in the same room when I'm putting a jacket on. It's the happiest day of your life. Misha really doesn't give a shit about herself. It's just all for Sasha. It's like her existence is devoted for Sasha. Huh? Wait. Wait! Wait, wait, whoa, 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 but it was birthday! Mm. Bitch, what? 
episode titles called Sasha's True Intention. I didn't get I, I did get duped. What? Okay, that makes a lot more sense as how she treats Sasha. Like one episode, really? It's all like you're good already. Okay, okay. And this is a little bit more consistent, even though this is so ridiculous. Bitch, it did nothing, Misha. Misha just said this was my like my happiest day. She just gets stabbed. Misha's gonna be fine. But this is really you're gonna be after what Anos did. You really think you can beat Anos like this? I. What's going on with Sashi? I. She's just an evil bitch. I can't believe we brought you home. <laughs> you, you tasted mother soup, and you're doing this. If she breathes, she's a. No, I can't say that. I, I can't believe I, I trusted you. I can't believe I can't believe I trusted. She said it was your. Everything was for your birthday and it was her happiest day. How could you do this? Uh, she really freaking just grabbed her. <laughs> okay. Wait. That's enough. <laughs> That's, a, that's such an anno solution. <laughs> it just works. Oh, you did? Uh, oh, it was the, too OP. Way too OP. So, he's already like seven steps ahead. She's such a good person. She's even after all this shit. She still will give Sasha the benefit of the doubt. Why would you do this? Sasha does not deserve Misha. Maybe true. Maybe true. But... Misha's that good of a person. Fuck Sasha, man. You're gonna disappear? Tomorrow you're gonna disappear? Tomorrow? She's turning 15 tomorrow? Huh? Do you exist for Sasha? You disappear so that Sasha becomes stronger or something? Uh, uh, yeah? Uh, 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 huh? What? And that's another episode. Uh, um, yeah, you guys are right. That shit's about to hit the fan since like episode three. E even like the first two episodes are pretty hype, but we're getting into the plot and episode two makes a lot more sense. I was like kind of joking around like, how the fuck is Sasha already holding hands with Misha being like all sisterly after you called her like a doll that you would never see her sister? And like, really, you fell in love that easily with Anos? It was all a fucking act. It was an act. And I fell for it so hard thinking that this is like a, I don't know, some kind of cringe fiction story where things like this just kind of make sense, whatever, as long as it's hype. Nope. I... <laughs> <laughs> they got me. Yeah, they got me. Fuck, I can't believe I fell for it. Oh my god, I should have known something else was up. But we brought you home to our pets. And we gave you our soup and this is how she treats us. Now, the most important things of this so far, right, is with the history of Anos' name being Avos. We talked to Ivis. There's somebody that's impersonating as Anos, but their memories are all erased. So who knows what happens happened after Anos kind of sacrificed himself and then got reincarnated. The 2,000 year gap, something is off there. Now, the only person I can really guess as who this could be is just the hero, right? Because like, I, I'm, I'm, I, I have a limited amount of choices as to who I could really guess. Could it be our parents? Could it be your dumb mother and dad that's actually not dumb in there? No, probably not, but I don't really know what's going on. And then we go to the plot with uh, Misha and Sasha. Misha being a doll, that's been explained in the last episode. She's not an actual human. She seems to be like an artificial test tube baby that was created. And now she's going to disappear on the 15th birthday, which is tomorrow. That's why she didn't really give a shit about her own birthday gift. Why? Is she going to disappear and why did she say that she actually doesn't exist? Doesn't exist as in she's not an actual person, she's a doll? That kind of makes sense unless I'm interpreting that wrong. Also, it feels like what happens? She just disappears? Is she just like a temporary being that existed for 15 years for what? To serve Sasha? I, I, I don't know. I'm so confused, but things are getting pretty interesting. But hey, if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push my small channel to recommend this so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.